might be seeing the recent update from our channel Nimble Prerena. That is the max scholarship undergraduate studies experienced by one of the fellow members who, who recently received this scholarship. And also, we have recorded a session of complete uh, guidance of application and then contacting professors, how to write emails and interviews. We covered all these topics in the webinar and uh, recently held on this month. So you can see these deadlines in the, uh, in the first video of this webinar. So we can have the link here. So application deadlines, if you click, it will come here. So you can see here details of the deadlines. In continuation with these videos, uh, in this topic of university recommendation, for max scholarship so the deadlines you can see so the science, school of science university of tokyo is one of the first university which is announcing the notification for university recommended scholarship max scholarship japan so this is the details which we have shown but the deadline is we can we will verify in the website in the, in a few seconds so you can have a look so if you like uh, if you like to listen more updates on these things if you like to follow the updates you can follow us by opening this channel so without further delay let's go ahead the details about school of science in the university of tokyo recommended max scholarship so you can see in this particular video, you can uh, come up, come again and watch this video. So this is basic application process, finding relevant groups, writing mails to professors, interview guidance tips. So all these are covered in this particular webinar session. So you can come and watch this one. The links will be floated in the description of the video. So let's get through it. So the University of Tokyo, University recommended Max Scholarship 2021 for starting the school in October 2021. So the notification has given recently and the deadline you can see here 30 October 2020. So which is noted from the website you can see in the coming slides. Coming so this is a basic notification and this is the link uh, for the scholarship. So this link will be given again in the description, so you can follow directly. But before going directly, we'll just show how it will be. Uh, so we'll go now. So further adding on to this, before the end of this session, you will be knowing these following details: the admission notification overview of this University of Tokyo, application requirements, processing or preparation documents. We'll be referring to these uh, existing videos, so you can go and watch the videos or you can click the links here deadlines for the comments or suggestions so myself i'm a recent university recommended recipient for the phd program in hokkaido so i i, I have shared my experiences about interviews I, about this university recommended scholarship and there are few more videos uh, that in the links okay let's go ahead so open the google and just type this school of science university of tokyo you will be finding the link first link even though we are going to share the link i'm just trying to give the way how to find it out properly so school of science university of tokyo you click on here so you, you are here now so in this admission you can click admission graduate programs and here you go to prospective students and then select the scholarships so here you see there are uh, the major scholarships like max scholarship by embassy recommendation max scholarship by university recommendation sorry and uh, international student special scholarship program so there are this uh, this uh, university scholarships you can uh, explore these details and this is the uh, also available the JASA scholarship. So University Assistance Association scholarship by private foundations. You can see here the private foundations also they offer scholarships. So 
here you can see these things so most of these scholarships uh, once you got selected through self funded or uh, direct admissions then only they will be applying from the university so very few will be allowed to apply by yourself so this is just for your information so you can have a look like this scholarships for which program masters phd and graduation what is required what is the tuition fee duration everything is written you can refer to this if you are interested in this we can we can comment down we can share the links directly no issue so let's go to our current topic of university recommendation for mixed scholarship so here you see this is 2019 is showing but the content is up, updated so we'll be seeing in a few seconds so i think this uh, website is not updated but the link is updated that is a different uh, website you can see see here is say 2021 university recommended japanese government mixed scholarship so if you i think you, you are aware of what is mean by mixed let's have a look about mixed also what is the expansion so basically it is a ministry of education culture sports science and technology so next is scholarship they call short so the uh, qualifications are here you can read already down and the qualifications here one of the uh, uh, concern in the queries uh, during our webinar is that see international students who are outstanding academic results who wish to enter in japan by 2021 as new student to study masters or doctoral program at school of science so the basic suggestion to have is to find Three or higher out of four GPA. The GPA calculation is uh, by Max. There is Excel sheet. Uh, if you wanted me, we could share uh, that link. So you can download. You can comment on for that, or you can find it easily after uh, by googling. So the language proficiency is one of the concerns. See, the language proficiency is mentioned here. So the requirements are the suggestions. So the levels are the highlights, are the TOEFL uh, range. If you can see TOEFL, Gartt, Joya, and these things. So further, uh, let's move on to it. So the nationality, you can see this is the eligible nations they are mentioning. I think most of the countries are covered. I uh, maybe some of them are not included. You can refer to this if you are concerned about this eligibility and the age limit. Applications must be born on or after April 2, 1986. So that even uh, I think um, uh, who are planning for the admissions, I don't think it is too big issue because uh, uh, most of them will be falling under this age. An academic background, the applications must have necessary qualifications to be admitted in the School of Science, University of Tokyo as master's or doctoral student. It's like uh, this is a School of Science, so the background experience of the uh, qualifications must be relevant to this one that's what they are referring the field of study applications must apply for the field of study that they studied at the previous university or related field it's like uh, I, I, you can't apply something from uh, computer science to this one you can apply on uh, considering your project or the proposal uh, which is connected to this research on at uh, school of science of university of tokyo so we have seen the uh, language proficiency already japanese as false the java the lpt or n2 or higher has completed this is for japanese uh, language uh, courses if you want to take the studies in japanese if you should have this n2 or higher and the health and arrival in japan visa this you can see afterwards these are basic information so further uh, there is a non-eligibility criteria like uh, some some people have raised this doubt in our recent webinar so the Active member of this thing is normal. So this uh, applicant who are unable to travel within this thing. this also can be uh, okay. But this doubt is like uh, the applicant who is already applying for Japanese scholarship for another AY program. This is not applicable. The applicant who is already enrolled in Japanese university and still is not eligible. They are eligible to provide scholarship like uh, in the, within the university. So this this things you can read the uh, details. So further going on, the period of scholarship is uh, for two years, 
for master's program and uh, three years for a doctor's course. That is from 2021 to 2023 or 2024. And the extension of scholarship period, you can see here, if the grantee of the master's program decides to proceed the doctor's program, he or she must have the term of his or scholarship extended upon subsequent examination by MEX and provided that he or she has made outstanding academic achievements with the certain criteria. This is not guaranteed. It will not be granted to all those who apply for extension. So please make sure if you are planning for PhD to have the minimum academic qualification, the merit course. Sorry. So the scholarship benefits, you can see here, the alliances are pretty much, it's one of the best scholarship in Japan for our higher studies. That is 144,000 N for, for month for master's program and it's 145,000 N per month for a doctoral course program. And the addition of a uh, stipend of two to 3,000 N may be added to the students undertaking study or research in some designated areas of the country. Like uh, in the northern part, the snow, no time like in the December, the expenses will be higher because of the heat that they have to use. So that is one thing. And the traveling cost, this is, uh, I think you can read it slowly. I think it's covered by Max. The school fees will be exempted. That is, uh, it might be hard a bit before. The suspension of scholarship terms, you can also see. So this is what uh, we are uh, much need to focus on. So the application form. You can see here, let me open it. So, so this application form. So basically they have highlighted whatever is needed to fill, like uh, they have given already some things which are uh, white in color, we need to fill these columns. These things you can fill and the photo you can paste here. The recent photo, which is in, uh, within six months and the date about the current address, your address before departure of the Japan, phone number, email, you can mention all these details. I think uh, this is pretty much uh, self understood. If there is any doubt uh, on the publication, you are welcome to post in the comments. We will try to uh, reply and we will try to answer it. I will, I will support our, our best from our, our team member. Right so, this is the studies and also let me go to the field of study or research plan. So this is one of the crucial uh, documents you need to be uh, thorough with uh, content. So you need to prepare properly. So this is the format they have given. So you can use the same format, uh, add your name and the details. And this uh, native language means uh, if you are from a French speaking country, if you are from a German speaking country, initially I was confused. Even I'm from uh, and, uh, in India, it's a right, Telugu speaking country. So we have to write our name in our language, the native language. Then you write in the Roman capital, that is the English here. So this you write in your own mother tongue. Then the nationality, present field of study. This is your current research area. So how to write, how to uh, how to write in the way it is connecting to the research, that is, uh, you need to have some experience, uh, observations. So you can see our videos now, like I showed in the previous uh, just before starting the video, that uh, playlist of uh, complete guidance of university recommended scholarship. So, your research topic in Japan. So, describe articulatory, articulatory the research you wish to carry out in Japan. So, present field of study you describe well so that it will connect to the research topic in Japan. This topic you try to choose and discuss with the professor. I think uh, that is the next topic we are going to see. So we have to have a discussion with the supervisor and we have to get his consent before applying, applying the applying for the program. So for that, uh, it's better to discuss with the supervisor and write it here. Or you write to the supervisor, then correct it and the final version is submit here. Study program in Japan. It's like uh, you should, it's better to give full details, including the timeline, like three years span, what is the major milestones in each year, divide each year to two verticals like six months, six months. So it's better to divide and write here. Yeah, that, that's all here. So let's move on. So the letter, letter of recommendation form, Dean or above, the letters must be of the following conditions. So this 
format you can see the the whole thing must be uh, to this you know, president of university of tokyo so you should write this uh, in the proper uh, position and the letter must be dean and above means you try to get from your supervisor your guide in your masters or your bachelors for masters course and then with that letter you try to approach your dean or your head of the uh, section or head of the school of your uh, whatever you are studying in your country that will work so usually uh, you can add a uh, fixed both so that that is uh, it, it varies for the country to country and the school to school so uh, i didn't have any specific answer but you can approach to us uh, if you want any clarification so the passport type within the uh, last six months without a cap so this one photo as i mentioned before in the application and the official transcripts so the last you know this transcripts you must get from your university officially it's like a, you can't submit something from the online or whatever it is so if you are current student you can get the transcripts up to that date up to that previous semester and submit it and the grading system or the grades you, you may need to explain uh, the explanation is only will be accompanied with the transcripts but when you go for the up to the, uh, the particular up to date the uh, transcripts so they may not have this uh, what we call the explanation for the grades so it's better to ask your uh, academic section when you get this thing directly i mean when you apply for the transcript so proof of language so as mentioned you can submit uh, like uh, if your language of instruction is uh, english in your school that also you can submit and also you can uh, submit this tofel or alex score that it is there thing so you can refer to that abstract of graduation thesis should be concise to the point so you can uh, slightly correct your abstract of your thesis and then submit it here and a self statement of the expected graduation last year was the so if you are a current student you need to get this certificate from your academic section or your university uh, uh, administration giving the month and the, uh, month and year of the graduation expected month and year of the graduation this is important if you will graduate from the current program after submitting your next program you must submit the official transcript official statement provided by your university that indicates the date of expected graduation so that is you can plan for it the passport as you know the application instructions let's go to this one so see here this is the instructions this application is here but this application is so so far not open the mentioned that they will be opening there you can see the application duration is october 1 to october 30 uh, yeah from october 1 to october 30 and uh, october 1 to october 30 and the april to april this is for september 2020 so you can see the deadline so that will be opened in uh, month of october but we need to start preparing now because of the necessary documents to take time to get it done so the you can see this masters program and doctors program for masters program i think uh, this is also the same thing uh, you have to contact your prospective supervisor see here please contact the potential super supervising professor and obtain his his or her approval before submitting an application this is very very important so you you try to contact the professor you try to convince him for your supervision so if you are not sure how to write mail how to Convince the professor. You see our video where our friend uh, Dora, who will, will be joining in Kyoto University of Advanced Science in the coming months, so he explained nicely how to write our his insights and all. You can refer to that video. If it is mentioned in the description also, the link for that. The application for both masters and doctors are not allowed to submit more than one application for the same enrollment. the graduate school of science so one application however the applicants are allowed to apply for both special selection and international application so this is different like special selection is for the university recommended and international applicants is the kind of self funded and other scholarship so that is uh, different but they are suggesting not to apply for more than one application like uh, any changing mail or uh, the alternative mails i got to professor approval that is not approval they are suggesting so we can Just remember this point. The selection procedure is as far as we come across in the last year. Basically, we submit.
submit the documents, then they will start this for the interview with the mixed. Considering that you have completed the interview with your guide before that one, so then maybe round up interview with the guide also. That uh, basically, when you are trying for a guide approval, he will take an interview, so that will go off. So, like one, two guide interview with the guide or the faculty which you are going to work, and the interview with the next panel. Yeah, these two are a major steps. So the interview guidance also we have shared by two three friends. You can refer to that. We'll be sharing the links in the board description. So application documents. Here we come. So application form, GRE is required or not? They mentioned you can refer to this. GRE is required uh, required only for chemistry, and this is not required for physics, uh, astronomy, and uh, earth sciences, earth and planetary science, biological science. We can refer to this one. For more information, they are given the link here. We can refer to that. And Tuffel score is given details and transcripts and payment confirmation of application fee. If you are uh, applying for uh, max, it's not required. They will be uh, exempted. For application to the doctoral program, for master program, this is and some see you can submit this one. Scientific publications or documents this is quite necessary. The most recent GPA, the problem of personal statement, and this is kind of see they have given the guidelines also. Need not to confuse much. Statement of purpose. So this is this should be concise and it should be very straight to the point so that it gives good impression on your application. Proof of your prior consultation with the potential supervisor. This is important. So as we discussed, this is the first step you have to do. Two recommendation letters, one from supervisor or familiar with academic or scientific work, another one from the head. You can consider like that, or you can submit even both from different, uh, like head of the laboratory, head of the department should also work. So you can, right? But if you submit later, before, like uh, if you submit before, they will have a time, they will ask you to verify and change the document if there is some correction required. So it's good to go. Before the deadlines, like our friend in our introduction documents, our friend saw from Myanmar, she mentioned nicely about these uh, the deadlines. Uh, we need to go before the deadline so that you can refer to that video. So you can see these deadlines I have mentioned it's October 1 to October 31st, and the application fee. First of admissions, you can see. Sorry. You can see here, cost of the uh, admission for selected students, how it will be. But this is not for next uh, scholarship recipient. So, the end of, the, end of the June, yeah, let, let, let's see this properly. End of the June 2020 for application to the to enroll September 2020. This is already over. End of the December for applicants, uh, this is April. So, this is still there for those who wanted, if they wanted to do something. We are talking about this. Uh, September, so university recommended scholarship. So this is the decision data that announced by this day. The results of mixed scholarship will announce separately. So this is the red details. The results of the applicants who are embassy recommended for 2020 will be sent soon as possible. They are available. You will be received applicant ID once you complete this. You can see. Yeah, this is the contact email ID. So you can keep in mind whenever you have doubt, you can you are free to write a mail to this. Particular email ID, they will respond with the best of best within a short time. So, yeah, now we are finished with this uh, application overview. As we mentioned in this one, application requirements we are saying, let's see this uh, individual departments. I'll just go with one department and show how to find the faculty profile. So, you open this website. You need to find the professors and research areas and the individual laboratories, right? So, usually, you can click on here. You can see these researchers. Yes, here there are professors' names and the research team, what they are working on. So, you can refer to your, your area of research and you can search for it. There may be multiple professors working on. Don't Get demoted 
this driver based and see there are many, uh, multiple areas if you are into physics it may be connected with your uh, astronomy it may be connected with your earth and planetary science because the uh, areas of research is different from the subject we studied that degree so it may be connected to, uh, uh, to all many of the disciplines so you better try to search all the relevant faculty profiles and try to contact and get your supervisor consent before the deadlines so yes guys we have finished this overview and we have come across these details so further comments or suggestions so the suggestions as i said uh, the deadlines uh, go ahead of the deadlines and finish your work and submit to them so that the uh, international office will respond to you back if there is any deviation or uh, requirements so that is a very good thing uh, going on uh, ahead of the deadlines and contacting supervisor be thorough with your way of approach so that you will get higher uh, you will have a higher probability of positive response and processing of documents you can see individually in the which are trend mentioned from Myanmar even she mentioned how to write uh, uh, let me show you so you can see in this one this complete guidelines First, research proposal. That's your website. The second is that yeah, it will be very helpful. Documents for research proposal and also she mentioned about how to write this research proposal in a concise and a good way. So you can refer to this video. I'll be sharing the link in the description. Okay, guys. Thank you for your uh, attention and uh, close watching of the video. And firstly, we appreciate your sincere efforts or the serious willingness to come to Japan and study in one of the best stable research atmosphere and the you know, ambience in the universities. Of course, all the universities are very good. I have traveled from the north to uh, the Hokkaido Island to the Osaka Kansai region. Also, Hiroshima had traveled. I have traveled in the Tokyo area, so it's very, very good. So if you are having a thought of coming to Japan, don't give up till the end you achieve it. So go ahead, all the best.